go. to do some riding. Nobody here got the track to ourselves. All right, here we are at Hogback Hill Motocross Track. Let's see what these Saron and Segway can do. Good? Yeah. All right, let's go. Follow you again. This thing does on them. You put the rhythm section and the whoops. Good. I did it. I'm gonna try to clear the landings by pinning it. I just realized most of these jumps it won't clear. It is surprising how to handle these big rocks and nuts and rocks. Dive right in these corners. Take that a little less. Speed is nice. That's a jarring consistent. There's some nice deep rut. Kind of hampers through. Crap right here, we'll see how it goes through there. Not bad. Mason. All right, coming down into gravity cavity. I'm sure, the video won't do this justice. How steep this is going in. Big drop. Come about it. All right, I'm impressed. No problem. 
Getting our drop point in. Like I got a flat tire. Nope. All right, coming towards the end. There's a roller. There's a two finish line jump. If I can beat get either one of them. Right into the face of both of those. All right, give an idea of how much more power I need to clear this jump. Here's the face of this jump. And that's where I made it to on the stock Suron. That's about 22 foot to landing. And it was a pretty hard landing, landing on the face of that jump. But it's also a pretty big, steep face that was hard to carry my speed up um, but surprisingly it did well considering I cased it really hard nothing broke uh, Mason's gonna give it a shot see what Subway can do on this big jump All right, final recap after spending a couple hours at the motocross track. Um, the bikes did great. Let's see, I did 13.4 miles, brought me down to 12%. That's a basically wide open riding. Mason did 15.1 and only brought him down to 30%, which is and pretty good. And I did good. faster than you, 45 miles an hour. Yeah, somehow you got up there. Uh, the bikes did great. Um, Not powerful enough. The suspension surprisingly did really well. They handle really well. They're actually really fun to go through the ruts and the berms and you can throw the things around. It's actually, it kind of makes you laugh while you're riding it because it's like riding a BMX bike through a motocross track. Um, I wish I had more power where I could accelerate up the faces of the jump and actually clear the jumps. But there are a couple that we could clear uh, given the power that they had, I want to turn my regen off because it was a little strange um, having that regen kick on um, when I normally would be just freewheeling towards a section. It would just slow me down, so I had to like stay on the gas so that wouldn't um, keep slowing me down. Um, I cased it a bunch of times really hard trying to clear some things, and this bike um, seemed to hold up pretty well. I don't see like anything that sticks out as being bent or broken. I probably was a little harder on it than I should have been but it's got a little caught up in the moment try to see what it could do my back brake definitely got soft way softer in the front so I don't know if I gotta bleed it or do something but overall the bikes did great they're muddy